Okay, so this is a quick video about our sensor platform suitable for things like sweat analysis or maybe suitable for microneedles or maybe suitable for transdermal um, sensors. So what I'll do is I'll go to our products page. Um, so let me just go there. Products, um, wearable sensors. So we have a, a lot of obviously videos on this. So my suggestion is if somebody's starting off with sweat analysis and they want to do multiple things, maybe they want to do sodium, potassium, lactate, glucose, pH. One of the good places to start is potentially with the Easy Flex in its hybrid mode. Um, so what I mean by that is this particular device here. So this is the Easy Flex um, circuit, and then it has um, the ability to plug in different ZP sensors. So if you want to do sweat analysis and you want to potentially do glucose sensing, um, I would suggest a good starting point is this um, sensor and tell us when you're ordering it that you want it for kind of glucose. So you'll get this electronics and then you'll say, you know, and I want it for, you know, glucose. My suggestion then is you, you buy it in the hybrid version. So that basically allows you to click in different sensors. So you buy the electronics, you tell us, and you also with the order, you put in that I want to do glucose. So biosensors, glucose sensors, and then we've got a whole bunch of um, glucose sensors. I realize on this, on this screen, there is a, there is, a, there is a picture. That's the glucose sensor there. Um, it's a little small. There is a data sheet um, that's included. And the data sheet, this electrode or this sensor will click into, and I'll go backwards. It will click into the um, EC Flex hybrid platform that I was showing earlier on. So it will click into here. So it clicks into that into this position here. So when we talk about the seventeen hundred pounds, that's for the electronics. This little patch here, and then you can buy different types of sensors to click in there. If you want to do lactate and um, glucose, let's say at the same time, this will only do one at a time. You cannot run them both in parallel. We could make it happen, but it's not a standard part, and it will take some engineering to do it. So if you come to us and say, I want to start working by measuring the glucose in sweat, for example, then we're gonna tell you, buy these electronics, um, go to another part of our website and buy some glucose sensors. And if you tell us that you want to measure lactate, I'll say buy the same electronics, Go to another part of our website and buy um, the lactate sensor. There's a data sheet for that as well. Um, so in summary, if somebody's starting out with the idea of measuring um, analytes in the sweat and they want to have a quick, uh, a much quicker kind of route to development or to product, then I would say the Easy Flex is good. Um, I'd probably get it in this format where you get the electronics and there's a connector on here which allows you to connect in the sensors and then you can choose the appropriate sensor from our biosensors um, page. If you're actually interested in doing multiple analytes, that is possible. I'm just going to do, it is possible, but it's not a standard product and it will take some expense to develop it. But if you're just interested in doing multiple analytes, it is possible. You, and one example is this, this credit card, um, Zimmer and Peacock. And it's worth just having a look at some of these videos where we do actually put sensors um, in parallel. It's not in a wearable application here, but um, we've basically got a bunch of sensors all, all, all on the same um, substrate. And you can like have a glucose sensor and a lactate sensor, pH, sodium, potassium, whatever you want to do.
but that's a different format. So it is theoretically possible and it is, we are able to do it. It's just not a standard product. So if you're, lo if you're looking to do sweat analysis and you want a quick start and you want to minimize cost, then go to products, go to wearable sensors. Um, I think the hybrid is a good way of starting this uh, hybrid easy flex and um, my suggestion is then getting the glucose, the lactate, pH, sodium, potassium, whatever from the biosensors part of the website. All right. Um, and I suppose the final thing I should say is if you don't want to, um, if you're, if you want, if you're still really much, if, if you don't want the small flexible electronics package, we do have a more of an R and D um, solution as well. And there's products called um, Potential Stats. The Anapot EIS system is basically a um, so handheld size little USB um, powered potential stat. And this is probably a quite a good instrument for people doing um, bench top R and D work. Okay, um, if you've got any questions, um, please contact us at um, Zimmer and Peacock. Thanks very much.